I've been to that stadium before. It is electric on the big plays. And as soon as they hear my accent, there's about 20 Aussies surrounding me teaching me the rules, Aussie rules of the <laughs> AFL. Moments you'll never forget. And you're not too far from the coast here. State of Victoria is the place to be. Watching this little roll in from Cade Madsen getting started against Yago Dora. Cade, the rook on tour. Youngest remaining in the draw, oh. punches out that section. And then Cade's wave. So Cade's a lot bigger, a bit more open face, cleaner. Cade just uh, getting two beautiful snaps off the top. And then the third, that was the exclam exclamation point. Very expressive in his hand movements and positioning. Really tight radius. Pivoting turn off the lip there. And uh, it's going to take some sort of powerful wave to knock this kid off his feet. Very sure-footed. Showing his power. And now the difference from the backhander, Yago Dora. Goes the snap. Quick whip there. Attacking the pocket again. Throws it off the lip. Yago still hammering this wall. Hugging the pocket really close to the whitewater section and final turn hammers it shut great start to the matchup wow this is a great contrast of waves here chris brown and uh, mike parsons and a few others sprinkled in there as well I like that but let's check out uh, yago dora so obviously a, a slightly smaller wave to what k got but um yago just getting this backhand hook just wound up time and time again blasting off the lip he keeps going multiple turns all the way down the line. So several several powerful turns. Adriano de Souza. Nat was talking about visualization and he was just closed his eyes and hoped a bomb was gonna come. He just was sitting out there with priority, opened his eyes and it was just white water across the southern ocean and into the zone. No takers on. Oh, hang on. Yago's going to take this one under priority. So late decision. Dora ends up throwing down his first turn. Into a nice second clean snap. And that'll do it. Combination. He will improve on his second score. Cade. Quick rip on that opening section. Throws in a quiet little backup for his 767. A lot of the, the sounds that you'd hear in Taylor Steele movies, those wow. bands would show Mental. up in Brazil. And there's pictures of Iago in diapers on the big speakers <laughs> as we see him jam that section real quick and tapping the white water again, slips off. Said he was beyond words. He thanked Eli <laughs> for helping him get that spot with Iago running after a, a section here. He'll carve through the first. Running after a no. section to go tail high. Wow, and that nose was so close to his Super head. Super close. That was dangerous. Thin throw as we look at this one again. Yeah, difficult on the backhand. Gets that first snap. And then Yago just pumping down the line. Comes right off the bottom. There's that backhand inverted rotation that we were talking about. You can see there just gets his chin out of the way because that board wanted to give him an uppercut. And uh, he just came back like this, you know, superhuman surfer and went on a crazy winning streak. Dora playing with some white water and it's going to be a short ride up and out. So he's got to be careful here because sometimes when you start riding waves like this, you can potentially miss a set. So you've got to make sure that you haven't ridden a, a wave that's not really going to go into your score line. The entire company comes down to watch every single heat. Watching this now, Cade Madsen. Fun looking section to work with. Throws some water off the tail into a clean float. Looking for just a 257. He's doing well so far. The kid from San Clemente on a roll through every single point. Throwing some water. It's just landing there as he is into his wrapping cutback. And now jams it again to finish off a long ride. Well surfed. Third wave. And he's picked a good one. Some great opportunity here. Clean snap to start things off. Projection foam climb. Keeps that speed. Accelerates from that bottom turn. Nice clean snap. And again, up and over the foam section. Bit more spice on that one with some tail drift. Nice wrapping cutback. 
Just uh, slams on the brakes and then readjusts for that final turn into the shadows under the cliffs here at Winky Pop. Beautiful slow-mo actions here. You can see just how much control these surfers have over their surfboard. Even under these turbulent sections as they're driving down the line, watch this, clicks the fins out and then re-engages with the smooth, smooth face underneath him. Drives hard off the bottom, navigating through all these bumps. That weightless feeling when you're up and over those uh, whitewash sections. Keeping that control. Lots more flair on that turn, Joe. And then the wrapping cutback. So good variety on this wave. This is going to be a really good backup for Cade. Well done for Cade from start and also finding a big jam to finish. He could have been exhausted by that stage, but these pros are going through that struggle from last year, going back to the Challenger Series, coming back better than ever into a, a final five position on the live rankings as we enjoy Cade surfing here on his fourth wave against Yago Dora, hitting the lip well, deeper off the bottom, and now in fun section to tee off the lip. <laughs> Again, he's just belting that lip line and shuts it down. But a good pick up here, under priority. So Cade takes the first one. Gets a good clean snap to open up. Then finds some better water down the line here. Plumes of spray going skyward. And uh, this wave just kept on giving Cade opportunity all the way down the line. As we come off the backhand of Yago Dora, he's answering back. Wraps it. Now timing another carve. Dora stepping on the gas and goes for a quick whip on the reverse attempt, but he's down. Momentum between each turn. Let's see if uh, Yago got some work done out the back. So just a little check turn to start things off. Deeper bottom turn. That's a better snap. And again. So uh, multiple maneuvers on the backhand. So he got some good work done outside. Comes through to this inside section. Takes the low road. And... Uh, this was just really the only mistake. And if he'd finished that off, that, uh, that wave was looking good too. So uh, a mistake here from Yago Dora, and I think it's going to cost him. Really felt like he needed that finish to lose your heat and then support your friend. You know, that's what these guys were doing all year last year. As we watch now, Dora fade the first section and step off. Well, it looks like Kate Matson has uh, dropped a 6.33, which equals his uh, second best score. So uh, he doesn't improve. Still waiting on previous of Yago, so he still doesn't know what happened on his way before, but he's looking for an air section on the wind up, throws down the shove it and lands it. So starting to get creative now. Okay, let's see way. what happens here. Okay, so clean, open face, streaking down the line, nothing yet. It's all about this one maneuver. Goes for the shove it, pulls it off. Progression, tick. But is it enough? Uh, it had some height, but it wasn't just, uh, I don't know, Joe, something in me is telling me it's not quite that 7.33. Just perhaps needed uh, one or two turns prior to this maneuver. If you've got a couple of clean snaps out the back. Margaret River, Yago will take this wave and Cade let him go. Now Cade's just watching from the back. He's just hoping that there isn't a ramp on this one. One of the best in the air is Yago as he kicks out. Good leave by Cade. The last heat to set up the quarters. 10 seconds to go. Cade has lost priority so Yago can take this wave. Running after a ramp section, he'll be late to it, and he can't come through with a big ramp. Yeah, I'm stoked for uh, Cade Matson. Great performance from Yago Dora, nonetheless. Geez, he surfed well on a number of those waves. His performance throughout this event has been uh, fantastic. But the young rookie showing some smarts and some great surfing to move through into the quarterfinals. And uh, even that achievement in itself in your first rookie season, it, it, it's a big one. And to do it here at Bells, you can see Yago, uh, I think he's giving a little thumbs up to the judges there.